I like how he sits on the throne there and he's just like kind of... I'm bored. I need to go slay somebody. Oh, watch your neck there, pal. Dang. <laughs> he just about cut his own neck off. His neck off. Yeah, his head off. Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to get started uh, with our planes base. Uh, what the hell do you want? He's on, uh, yeah, still work. Ashland's dark, Kingster's bed, Embers, until today, Coral, now you must prepare. Okay, right, sure. If you say so, buddy. <laughs> uh, all right, anyway, so our main goal for today is to get started um, with the... Looks like we're maxed out on the coal there. Our planes base and get the defenses up. I don't have a ton of time uh, to play today because I have to be somewhere in real life here in a little bit. But uh, we'll see, uh, see what we can get done. Okay, so anyway, let's... Um, Let's grab as much stone as we can carry through the portal. And we'll start there. Oh, we should probably eat too. Okay, looks like that's all we can carry at the moment. Make sure we have maximum rested buff. I like how he sits on the throne there and he's just like kind of, I'm bored. I need to go slay somebody. Oh, watch your neck there, pal. Dang. <laughs> he just about cut his own neck off. His neck off. Yeah, his head off. Oh my goodness. Okay. So like we did uh, have done in our other base, my plan is just to do a stone wall around this base and then... You know, when it gets attacked, we'll defend it as needed. And uh, this is the area that we've leveled out for doing stuff. Um, so my my plan here is to kind of do, you know, kind of do a longhouse through here, like so, but then maybe have either a wing that juts out this way and or at least an enclosed big you know a large enclosed space where we will have our our field our, our garden and stuff like that so that is the plan at the moment okay so let's start here um just Kind of trying to think how I want. I, we're we're gonna build a big dock out this way. That's the plan for that. And it looks like the the harbor's deep enough to where we shouldn't really have too much trouble in that regard. Um, I'm just thinking maybe the. This is kind of more of a central location here. I was going to try and preserve this this grass here, but maybe not now. And we're going to put we're going to put stone foundations down as well. So that'll raise it up high enough to where we don't have to worry about, you know, when the water comes in. So let's lay a cornerstone to get started here. So, oh, we need, oh, that's right. We need the, we need the masonry bench as well as a crafting bench. Okay. In that case, let's just throw this stuff out here. Um, get rid of that too. 
And I need to come up with 10 wood. I want to keep that crafting bench over there. All right, let's make our workbench here. And then for the, uh, where the hell is it at? Here we go. We need two iron. Oh, I guess I have the iron on me. Right, okay. Uh, no, I don't. Right, okay. Let me run back to the base and get some iron for this. I thought I had originally brought all that, but maybe not. Oh, actually, you know what, though? Is it inside the boat? In the hold here. No, it's not. Okay. You know what, though? Uh, since this is our new home, that doesn't need to stay in there. Just set it down here with this other black metal that's just been sitting here. Let's see. Furniture. Let's at least make a chest to put this stuff in. I know, I know it'll stay there indefinitely, but there's something about just leaving it sitting out like that. It makes me a little uncomfortable. All right, I just realized I made a grave tactical error. <laughs> I can't bring iron back to the portal to make the masonry bench. Oh, for Pete's sake, that's such a long ways away too. We are, we are way the hell up here in the Northwest. Oh shit, what do we do about that? I mean, maybe we could sail down to here and mine up a little bit of iron and take it back, but by the time we're done fucking around with that, I think it's, we're better off just throwing iron in our other ship and, and heading straight up there. Because otherwise I'm going to have to sail all the way down, mine it, sail all the way back, and that distance is at least as much as just sailing up once. We'll have two long ships at the new location, but I mean, that's not that big a deal. We can make another one down here later. Oh, what a noob, man. I just didn't even think about that. Completely didn't think about it. That sucks. All right, I'll see you guys uh, in 100 million years from now. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I, uh, what I, it occurred to me, you know, that I'm going to need more than just two pieces of iron. <laughs> Uh, because my plan is to basically make all of the crafting stuff at the new base. Um, and, you know, leave this stuff here because this base is also our base. And we'll still probably use it to some extent. Um, so I, I basically went through the entire menu and calculated how much metal I'm going to need for everything. And so basically... Um, I need 21 copper, 10 tin, 10 bronze, and 69 iron and two silver uh, to make to remake all of those crafting stations. And that doesn't count, you know, the black metal, but the black metal we're doing up there anyway. Um, so what I did was um, I upgraded my shield all the way to level three with the black metal, and then I'm taking the rest of the black metal that I had made down here up with me. Um, I'm taking one stack of bronze. This is all the tin that I have, but it'll be enough. I'm taking a full stack of silver just because I've got tons of silver. Full stack of copper uh, because I have tons of copper. And then I've got three stacks of iron, which will be enough to make everything, plus allow me to make about ten um, of the large chests. Now, I'd like to make the black metal chests, and I will make them, but I don't know... Um, uh, I, I don't know how much that's going to take, and I'd kind of like to make some of the other stuff first. So we'll probably start with the, just the large chests, and then you know may, maybe upgrade them to black metal chests later. That's the plan. So anyway, um, this is what I'm taking with me up there, and you know if we end up needing more iron, which we will, we can get that from the Mistlands when the time comes. But I'm not planning on going into the Mistlands, at least not significantly into the Mistlands, until, you know, we get our base fully set up and, and, you know, we're ready to do that. So that's why I need to kind of bring this stuff with me now. All right, so now I'm going to just sail all the way back up there, and I'll see you guys uh, when we get back up there, unless something crazy happens between now and then. Hopefully nothing crazy will happen. Uh, about the only thing that probably could happen is a sea serpent, but if that happens, we'll probably try and kill it 
Actually, you know what? No, I probably won't. I'll probably just run from it. Uh, I don't want to take any chance at all of losing this much metal. That would be rage quit time. <laughs> I mean, that is a lot of metal and a lot of value there. So I'll, I'll avoid sea serpents and just get, get up there. So I'll see you when uh, we get up to our new place. All right, guys, I am back and we are coming into the harbor here. Our trip was without incident, so that's good. And we're just going to park the ship. Well, let's, <clears throat> excuse me, let's take it over, uh, kind of over by the, the portal. If we can manage not to beach it here. <laughs> I should have cut that uh, sooner, but... Um, I'll kind of figure this harbor out as we use it more. Um, yeah, so I got all the metal here. Um, also, not that this matters to you, but I had to had to leave in real life too for a bit. So, um, all right, we got everything here safe and sound in the hold. I think. Then we'll just keep it there. There's no reason to take it out at this point, as far as I can tell. Um, and we want to get back to... What the hell? <laughs> Let's get this back on in case something attacks. It's a little dark right now because of the rain. Uh, but we just need, at the moment, two pieces of iron. Um, to make our um, thingamy, thingamadoodle. The uh, stone cutter. And we're going to need some stone, too, so let's go ahead and grab that. What I should actually do is um, go back to the base, the other base first, and just get my rested bonus back. Oh, some bastard came in here and knocked down our thing. That's probably the bastard right there. Last thing he'll ever do. Yeah, let's go. Let's go back to the other base and just get our rested back. Let's keep all that stuff in here for now. Alrighty. So what I want to do is I want to preserve as many of these birch trees as we can, um, and we can always replant them too. But I want to kind of keep the natural um you know feel of things these probably eh, you might be able to keep that one there this one i think is definitely going to have to go though plus we need you know extra wood anyway so let's take this one down and then we'll see if we can no don't hit those oh perfect <laughs> well almost perfect um we'll see if we can work around the rest of these for now Get, gonna get this guy's attention here, which is fine. He can bring us some more black metal. Come at me, bro. Oh, looks like we may have gotten the the tars. Uh... Oh shit! It's just a little too far away. All right, let's kill this guy too. And I saw a Skeeter over here. He was just flying right over here somewhere. Oh. I want to go to graphics. I turned depth of field off. I, I had motion blur on. I never play with motion blur, blur so... I'm really supply, uh, surprised. Surprised. Did the tar thing kill the mosquito? It must have. Uh, really surprised that I never turned that off originally because I usually one of the first things I do is turn that shit off. I mean, who actually plays with a motion blur? I mean, seriously. <laughs> I've never heard another gamer say to me, "You know what, OG? I like motion blur. I'm going to keep it on." <laughs> 
The problem with it is that it's it, it's supposed to simulate realism, but it doesn't. It doesn't work. Um, you know, we all have, of course, motion blur in real life, but it's it's much, much more subtle than it is in these video games. Oh, shit. Man, we're really getting the attention of bad bads. I guess that's a good thing. More resources for us. Um, what we don't want, though, is we don't want this asshole to lock us down while this... You know, so we can't move while the other guys are on us. Seems like the aggro range for, you know, cutting trees and stuff down is uh, greater in the plains. It's probably not. It's just that you can see things coming from a lot further out, so it makes it appear like that's the case. Okay, yeah, let's see if we can work with this arrangement. This big boy might have to go... Well, that's actually... Is that two trees? I think that's two trees. They might have to go two... But we'll just kind of see how, how. It, oh God damn it! Every fucking time I come over here, the wolves attack. All right. I guess they're bringing us wolf meat for kebab, so I can't complain about that. We don't really need their hide anymore. It's more of a nuisance than anything. Getting this more sword skill too, so I need some stamina. Are you guys going to stop anytime soon? That is an enormous wolf attack. It's still coming. I can't believe this. They're going to kill me. Alright. I need to get a little bit of health back. Don't attack my ship, assholes. Oh, they're pushing it. <laughs> They're pushing it out to sea. Yeah, they'll completely ruin this ship. Unbelievable. All right, let's hope we can survive this because I can't heal. Wow, that was intense. I have never seen a wolf attack like that that was just nonstop. Is it, is it because I stayed in the center of the red area? Maybe that's what it was. Or maybe it, maybe every time I kill one, new a new group spawns. I was just killing them so fast they kept coming. Those are the only uh, two things that I can think of. But goodness gracious, that was terrible. Okay. It's like... Non-stop interruptions here, man. I'm going to actually put a bunch of this stuff in here because we just don't need to be carrying it around with us right now. Right. 
that's good enough. Uh, let's let's bring this back in and repair it because when you have five wolves all attacking your longboat at the same time, that does some serious damage. You can tell it's banged up too, just because uh, it kind of turns a darker color. Seem to get close enough to repair it here. Can we... Oh, there we go. Okay. Thank goodness we can... We have that mod where you can use your stuff when you're in the water. It's so dumb that you can't do that in real life. Or not in real life, I mean in in the normal game. Okay, now, can we get started without any more interruptions, please? Game? Hello? Okay, so I'm going to put the cornerstone. We're, we're going to try and follow the contour of the beach. So we're actually... Well, you know what? That's almost, that's almost due east anyway, which is a good thing. So maybe we will build on the eastern cardinal direction. And I think we'll put the cornerstone right here. Okay, so first we have to put you down. And then we have to put you down. Right, let's put you over here. Now let's go to heavy build and grab our stone foundation, which is pointing east. And I think we'll just start it. We might need to... We might need to stack these just because of the waves. If we get a big storm coming in here... Yeah, if we get a big storm coming in here, that could... If the water actually gets all the way up into our house, it'll put our fire out and all that. So I think we should... Do a double stack on these foundations. Um, at least. The other um, advantage of doing that is that it gets us... If we have a high stone foundation, that just gives the house itself more protection from attacks. Because the mobs can only reach the stone, which is, of course, a lot stronger. Um... I just, I, I don't know if that's going to, if, if even that's going to be high enough, to be honest. We might, is, the thing is, is raising all of this ground, boy, that would be a chore. See, the water almost comes up to the bottom of the first foundation just with normal waves coming in. Can you imagine if there's a big storm? Hmm. All right, what would it take? Let's, here, let's pull these back down. What would it take to try and raise the ground up to maybe this point? We'll just go directly east. This could very well be our our main base for the rest of the playthrough, so I want to do it right. Go back to about there. That does raise it up a little bit. Um, I don't want to have to do it the hard way if I don't have to, but we probably we are going to have to. Meaning that we're going to have to put stone down and then level it back out. It's just, I mean, we can do that, but it's such a lot of work to do all that. You know, like we would have to do that here. No, not that. This. Then level it back down. I th I think though, you know, based upon what I'm seeing, the water do. We need to do that. We need to come raise things up a bit here. Okay. 
So now let's put the cornerstone down again. And what I think I'll do, I really don't want to take that tree out, but I want to be a little closer to the shore here for our, you know, my, my pier and stuff. Well, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's set it right here. And I, even with this, I'm going to double it. And I might be satisfied with just coming to here and no further. We'll just have to kind of see how it, how it comes together. All right, any of these boulders around here, we might as well harvest them for the stone. And if we really need stone, we could take that pillar down. I kind of like that pillar there, though. It just really adds to the flavor of the landscape. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe maybe we'll leave that one there since it's by our base. It's also a nice landmark when you're out at sea, almost like a lighthouse. And go look for, you know, like we could take that pillar down back there. That'll give us so much stone. We'll be crazy. But we're going to need a lot of stone. Because this is basically going to be a stone... I mean, we're going to use wood, too. But it's going to be a much more stone build than our first one. Our first build was almost entirely wood, of course. Let's get all these boulders out of here they're in the way anyway plus we can use our resources I do like this spot though I think it's kind of quaint you know has some character to it and looking forward to the build here It seems to me, and I'm just, this is a complete guess on my part, because I haven't been into the Ashlands yet. Or, well, yeah, I'm actually, I'm sorry, I meant the Mistlands, but I haven't been into the Ashlands either. That, neither one of those places are really conducive to building your main base. I mean, if you want a nice looking, you know, house in the countryside kind of feel, which I do, because uh, Mistlands, you can't see a damn thing, unless there's pockets in there where you, you can see a decent distance, I don't know, I've never been there, I haven't watched anybody else go in there, so it'll be a new experience, but Ashlands, I mean, yeah, it'd be cool to have, have a base there, you know, or like an outpost base, but unless you're going for the dark, fiery theme, which some people would like, of course, um, it seems to me like that probably wouldn't be the ideal place to build your base. And, you know, the planes is so important because some of the best food in the game, at least up to, you know, the, uh, till you get into the higher biomes, has to be grown here anyway. So it just kind of makes sense to, to build a proper big base here. All right, let's just get the first level down and then we'll worry about raising it up to the next level as far as how far we're going to come this way yeah you know what this is going to be a pretty long house I think I don't think we'll have to go past there so we'll see if we can preserve that tree we want to try and go one more this way I think yeah oh, we're out of stone Either that or... I, no, I think I'm out of range. No, we are out of stone. Okay. Here. Just so... I don't forget. I want to get this last one in. And that'll be the corner of the house. We're going to have to do a little more terrain manipulation here. Okay, let's go back to the base. 
and start hauling a bunch of stone over here. And... <coughs> zoom tight. I'm going to take some of this back with me, but maybe not all of it. Oh, um, after the last episode, um, one of my buddies in Discord sent me a, a link to, you know, that explains how the uh, comfort works. And I went ahead and, and, and read it uh, again. Well, I don't, know, I don't know if I read that specific article, but it was... It was a little clearer on how things work as far as comfort goes. So, so ba basically, the deal is that um, only only one item in a particular category counts towards the rested buff. Like, so I can put down ten rugs, but only one of those rugs is going to count. I can put down ten chairs, but only one chair is going to count, which includes thrones. Um, tables there's an exception so you know you got your kind of your more basic tables and benches and stuff like that but then these special tables count separately um and then if you have an item in a category such as a throne versus just a normal chair that has a higher comfort level it'll replace not add to but replace the lower comfort level item so that's that's basically how it works and 17 is supposed to be the highest you can get, at least according to that article. But that might have changed. You can also raise it up if you, you know, with the maypole and with the Yuletide tree. Um, and there may be other things in Mistlands and Ashlands that contribute to it as well. So anyway, that's that's how all that works. Okay, so let's head on back. And that's basically, you know, what a couple of other, uh, you know, other of you guys were were saying too. It's just that sometimes explaining things like that, um, it's it still doesn't quite click in my brain unless I get it from a different angle, so to speak. And that's probably more my fault than anybody else's, but it's just kind of the way my brain works. Okay. Anyway, let's get back to this. Um, I want to level that out so it's even with this ground here. And we might have to do a little bit of picking on this high spot here, which we can do. Not a big deal. Yeah, so let's go ahead and tap this. And we'll tap this. And this spot here. I want to push this back a little further too. All right, that's pretty good. Change my mind. I'm going to go back a little further. start moving this direction what I'm gonna do first is you know lay out the foundation and then uh, and then we'll probably actually work on getting defenses up before we build the house proper so this is about as far as we want to go this direction. Maybe to there. Yeah. I'd say, uh, we're going to hit that tree. Yeah, why don't we... I mean, this place is going to be enormous, so we don't... Let's... No, cut it out. Take that out. Let's pull this one back up. And we'll start cutting back here. Now, again, I'm I probably will put 
a little short wing out here, but I'm not going to set the foundation for that just quite yet. Let's just do the long portion of the house for now. That probably needs to be raised. You know, the thing too, now that I think about it, is... We don't necessarily have to raise all of this ground as long as the... Well, we probably ha we'll probably have to raise it a little bit because the foundations can't have complete air under them or they'll collapse. They can have a little bit of air, but not a lot. Let's raise this up a little more here. We're going to probably need to reposition our crafting benches. And as long as none of this ground here protrudes to the foundation, we don't need to worry about flattening it anymore. Oh, good. Yeah, that is raising for us, so we should be fine. I just didn't want to have to use filler to raise all of this because what a pain in the ass that would have been. Let's try that. Can we bring this up any more at all? No. Okay, we might need to put a little bit of filler in here. Let's go, let's go to here. Out of stone. Can I raise this up a little more? Yeah, that looked good. Let's go get another load of stone. We'll take Throw this down here. We don't have triangle pieces, do we? That's a shame. Wish we did. Now, the question is, do I want that bumped all the way up against the tree? And I think the answer is no. So why don't we... Well, you know what else I need to do is I need to count this because I like to have odd numbers for center, centering doors and things. Well, if we use the gates, though, we want even numbers. So what do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we have an odd number on the end of the building. So that will work fine for small doors, but not for gates. What do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So if we... We pull these back down, then we'll have an odd number on both sides. But then that means if we want a central door, which 
I mean, we don't necessarily have to have one in every case, but if we want a central door, we're going to. Hmm. Well, in any case, I don't want the building right, you know, clipping into that tree. So if we... If nothing more, if nothing else, we, we'll go further that way. But I, I'm kind of having an idea here. And by the way, I have not planned this out at all. I've given it just a tiny bit of thought, but it's going to be sort of a make it up as you go kind of build. Okay, so three, six, nine. So the end of the building is not conducive to. A, uh, a gate but now it neither is is this side let me count this again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen so I think we come we either go out one more or we come in one let's come in one I'm, generally speaking, there are always exceptions, but generally speaking, I prefer, a, you know, a little bit smaller bases. I mean, in other words, I don't like to build one ginormous base and then have it feel empty. So I like to keep them a little bit smaller and then fill them up as a general rule. There. Okay. Now we have odd numbers on both sides. Okay, I'm going to stop here as far as the house foundation goes. And I want to get some walls going because uh, we need to get some defenses in place. So we, we have to figure out what our perimeter is going to be. I think on this side, um, not really planning on doing anything with this space over here. So probably our f wall on the eastern end of the place could start here, but and go out into the water a little bit. need to be moved anyway but before I forget let's put that back down and see if we can move this one over here ish I want to raise this up yeah that does not want to raise so we're gonna to have to fill that in um, how much stone do I have we should have enough to do this. All right. Flatten it out. I'll have to see how the... Well, actually, you know what, too? Um... I'm, we may still do a wooden floor in the actual interior of the house and just do stones on the uh, on the outer at least in certain places so we'll have to just kind of see how that goes all right let's come over here how much stone okay we got enough to probably start this process anyways so I think that Let's go heavy build and grab these. Now, make sure... Yeah, that's facing due south. Okay. So I think we'll start the wall 
here and maybe go through those two trees. Yeah, that looks right. Let me just make, before I do anything super fancy with this, well, not necessarily fancy, but commit to it. Just want to make sure these are going to go through these trees okay. Looks like they are. If just barely. Okay, good. Now, um... That's probably going to collapse. Yep, it is. So. Guess we're going to need to raise this ground up a little bit here. I could do I could do an an earthen works thingy too, but I just don't like the way that looks, even though it's very strong. Well, it's pretty much invulnerable. But I don't like the way that it looks. Let's move this a little closer. That's about as far as it's going to let me take it without setting down another um, crafting bench. probably collapse. Yeah, it did. But what we could do we could drop it down. It wants to keep snapping up there. Um toggle snapping options. Left to shift. There we go. If you hold left shift out, it removes snapping. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. Hold left shift down. We're out of range of the stone cutter. You do want these walls to go out into the water a reasonable distance because you know attacking mobs can swim around them to get to you all right let's go get another load of stone and um, I guess we can just move this thing over for now all right we're back um let's put the our light on so we can see just a little bit better and see how much further out we can extend this. The other thing we could and probably should do is put some spikes down too. It's going to probably fall. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Yeah, that's probably about as far out as we're going to go with that. We have a couple of enemies here. Let's put our helmet back on. Not that I'm too worried about it, but... We are wet. Ow. Thank you for your contribution, boys. Okay, yep, I think that's far enough out. I think we can work with this. That's still not going to prevent them from swimming around if they want to, but... You know, the further back this way we are, the less likely they will attempt to do that. Got him. Alright, so I'm just going to go around and do one layer of wall first. 
because that will actually stop pretty much everything anyways. But it is my intention to, to build it up. Now I did notice, I, I did a while back I got attacked uh, by the swamp attack. And I noticed that the oozes were able to jump over my too high wall. And my guess is that these tar oozes could probably do the same. So we'll have to we'll have to kind of keep that in mind, I suppose. It is nighttime. Is anybody else on the server? No. All right, let's run home and sleep really quick before somebody logs in. <laughs> okay, let's continue on here with our wall. So from this point... I think we'll keep the wall just... On the outside edge of the grove until we get over to here it's this area over here that I'm planning on turning into our farm um, I don't know it's, I'm almost wondering though if it would be better to utilize well I mean the ground is lower right here then it raises up here then it raises up a lot right here and I think maybe a little more on this side. It's just a matter of, you know, leveling out the terrain, really. So I think for this end of the wall, we will run it to maybe about here and then start heading that direction. This is pretty damn high here. Let's just see what it lets what it lets me do. Um, heavy build. All right, it does clip down in there into the ground. Aside from blobs, I don't think anything in the game can really jump. But I don't know. I, I still feel like. This should be brought down a little bit. So let's just do it. For that matter, maybe over here too. Yeah, okay, that's better. We might, we might put a gate um, going out this way, too, when the time comes. So let's stand here. And we'll just level out a little further. Yeah, to right about there. That's good. Now, one thing we could do, if we want to make things a little more interesting, we could start to angle the wall a bit. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that on the wall. Um, I, that's something more I think I would maybe do on the building, because one thing I was thinking about trying is maybe, you know, kind of doing some rounded ends on both end of the of the base here and I have done that before in this game I think it's a matter of taking the foundations and you know turning them and then clipping them into each other kind of like this idea so we might do something like that just to you know add something a little more to the base so it's not just a boring old rectangle 
but again also I, I think I'm gonna build a wing out coming out this way too for the same reason really just to make the house a little more give it a little more character but I want to get the wall done first so again making this up as I go oh by the way I did look at the cultivator and you can plant grass with it um, what I don't know though is if it plants just green grass or if it plants the grass from the biome hopefully it's plants the grass from the biome because then what we can do is you know level this out because this will effectively become our yard but then replant some grass in it you know just so it's not dirt all the way around for that matter I'm gonna want to raise this up too because I just don't like that water coming in like that I don't mind if it happens during a storm but I don't want it to be an everyday thing okay let's stop there I guess that's what we want to do Got off on my line a little bit there. Out of range of our stone cutter. You know, the more I think of it, the more I think what I'm going to do is... Maybe we'll have two wings coming off the back of the house. So we'll have one that comes out to about here and then cuts back. And then we'll do another one that comes out to here and cuts back. And that means we are going to have to cut some of those trees down. But what I'll do is I'll replant them. I think. I'm still not 100% still not sure. Um, but as far as the wall goes... I actually, you know, if, if we're going to make this kind of our field out here, we need to kind of figure out how that's going to work. And I think I want to bring some of this terrain down. We're going to have to cut some of this, I think. better okay I'll worry about that later I'm gonna keep extending the wall as far this way as it's gonna go for the moment but but then I'll you know once I have that line finished then we're gonna break it back out to probably about here and then start going out this way I'm guessing maybe to this spot or so and then back around that way. But I want to keep my, my line going here first. I'm not worried about that tree because th this part of the wall, like I said, we will um, pick back up later. Okay, so what are we going to do over here now? That is the question. Um, I like this little peninsula here because it kind of helps shape the harbor. So maybe we bring the wall to about there and then come out maybe along here or so out into the water a little ways. Even even if we run the wall kind of along this line here, I think would be good. So let's just say, here we're going to have to move this stuff. 
Oops. Forgot. You got to take the other thing down first before you take that down. Let's put this here and put this right there. Okay. It's finicky, man. It's indeed finicky. All right. Heavy build. I'm going to run out of stone here in a second. Okay, so is that the line that I want, or do I want to go one more? I think I want to go one more. So that tree is going to be a problem. Okay, let me run the line again. We want to face due south. Oh, no, we got to go over... I'd say at least two more walls. Okay. Might as well grab some more stone from these boulders. So we may have to raise the ground a little bit here. Pretty sure we will have to do that. Is that gonna collapse? It actually works. Okay, good. Now, that... Hmm, I wonder if I should have merged those two together on that corner. Well, I guess it's not going to matter. It could... It could affect the, the pattern, but... We're just going to run with it for now. If I have to change it later, I'll change it later. Okay, this is definitely going to have to come down. And I think uh, we want to actually bring this up a little bit. Yeah, like that. That's good. Now bring this down. Okay, let's try that out. All right, we're back. Let's level some of this up here. Oh, you know what I was going to do? So I was going to go grab my cultivator and plant some grass and just see what it looks like. Let's go do that real quick. I'm hoping what it does is it just uses the grass from that biome, but I don't know that for sure. And it doesn't require any seed either, which is interesting. But I guess they don't have grass seed in the game, so that's what the deal is with that. Uh, but let's just grab whoop, uh, grab that and try it out and see what it does. Okay, so right down here by this tree will be our little test spot. It does seem like it's bringing... Oh, okay. Yep, it does bring the biome's grass back in. Okay, that's good. Why is it not doing it here, though? Huh. At least it colors the ground with the lighter color, so I like that, too. So it's not just the dark brown, muddy-looking ground, you know? Very interesting. Oh, you know what I think's happening here? I think it's just bringing back the grass that was originally there. That's why this is, you know, because this this was a really low area, kind of like that. Bet you that's what's going on. Okay, that's good to know. That's going to really help, you know, put things back the way that I would like them to ultimately be once we we're done tearing the place up, you know. We need to move our stuff over here. We're actually probably close enough to that workbench to where we don't have to put the other one down. All right, we're gonna have to maybe, here, let's put a couple more 
walls down first, but we're going to have to do some cutting, I think. like the building in this game and you know the whole process the terrain manipulation all of that that's probably going to collapse no it isn't how about that all right in that case let's see if we can raise that up a little bit okay now let's stay Lined up. That's about as far as that's going to go. Going to need to move this over closer. Can we put it uh, right there? That should be good enough. We're going to have to back our ship out of here. Okay, that's definitely going to collapse. So let's hold shift and drop it down to right about there. That's close enough. And then the same thing here. Um, will that stay? Yeah, it does. That snaps already for us, which is good. Actually, here, let's stand up here. Can we get... It's hard to... It's too much of a gap. Is there a gap on that other one? Oh, there is. Okay. That seems to snap just right there. There we go. Okay, that's good. Nope, that's not good. Stamina. Okay, that's probably far enough out. I'd say. Now, I think we need, um, I think we need core wood to make the spikes miscellaneous. Oh, we need wood and core wood to make this, the stakes. But what I'd like to do with those is Just kind of line them up on the wall around the edges. Maybe. I don't know. We may not really need to do that. It would help a little bit, but let's raise this up just a smidge here. Just going to go through and kind of smooth this out a little more, too, on the other side of the wall. Let's move the portal inside of the yard so it's in a little bit safer spot. That's connected. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going we're to wrap up the episode here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the building episode. It was kind of fun. And, um, oh, shit. Come here, you bastard. Bring me your your needle. Because you do make good arrows. Alright. So, 
let's see. What am I going to do off camera? I'm going to... I think I'm going to kind of get this all leveled out here. All the way around the base. And I'm going to... Uh, and over here, too. And then once I get it leveled the way I want it, I'll, I'll use the cultivator to kind of re you know, replant the, the grass and make it look good around the house. Maybe not all the way around the house. We'll just see. And then the plan will be to probably starting... Well, we might even just start here. Uh, I'm going to remove this wall, this front wall here from this point. Uh... Probably to somewhere about here-ish. Maybe even as far as this birch tree here. And then build the wall out to roughly about here. And over this way. And this area out here will become our, our field. Uh, to plant barley and flax in particular. And anything else we want to. But barley and flax for sure. And I'll probably just do all that off camera because it's really just going to be leveling and cutting and leveling and cutting and building and the stuff you already watched me do for most of this episode. Um, and then as far as the house goes, I'm, I'm kind of favoring the, the two wing plan. Uh, in fact, we could even... Uh, <laughs> sucker. Uh, what we could do is see. I'm I'm glad these guys keep spawning because they're just bringing us black metal, a constant supply of black metal. Um, I have a couple of ideas, and I'm not sure which one we'll go with, or we might go with something entirely different altogether. I don't know. We'll see. But the ideas are. Here, let's get this mosquito too. That's looking really cool. I think that might be worthy of a screenshot. There we go. Um, okay, so, couple ideas. One idea is a wing out this way, and maybe even round it, so we could turn it into almost like a tower. If we do that, those trees have to go, but we'll replant them elsewhere uh, within the vicinity. Because I still want this to have a grove feel to it. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll do kind of maybe a rounded wing tower kind of idea. And then on the back side, what we could do is we could maybe do a center rounded piece. Kind of like on that arc or so. Just to, you know, give the place some more pizzazz. And then we're going to build a nice big wharf um, out into the water here for our ships. And I like this harbor because it's, it's pretty deep. I mean, it gets deep fast. And uh, so there's not a lot of, you know, things for our ships to get hung up on, which is nice. So that's, uh, that's one plan. A simpler plan would be to just keep the backside straight. And maybe instead do kind of rounded ends of the of the house on both sides. So little smaller wings off of each end that are rounded. Um, and, and maybe we do a rounded front instead. And if we did that, then we could keep those trees there. Um, okay, let's see. We're... We're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So if we went starting, uh, go four blocks over, start on the fifth one, we could kind of do like a little rounded thing coming all the way back to here. Yeah, I don't think that tree will survive it, but these other two would. Right, so, you know, those are some possibilities. I'm going to give it some thought. And if you guys have any ideas, too, in your comments, let me know what you think. I don't promise I'll go with it, but I'll certainly give it some consideration. And uh, we'll go from there. 
So thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.